The Lenovo ThinkPad P15 is an $8,000 laptop. That's right, $8,000. Is it worth it though? That's a lot of money. Is an $8,000 laptop worth your time? My name is Dan and welcome to danstube.tv where I help people unlock their creative potential through technology. I really pride myself on bringing high quality product reviews and content to the channel and integrity and honesty is it's my highest value. Like if I don't show you guys my honest opinion then you're just going to call me out. You're going to buy a product, it's going to be crap and then you're going to go hey Dan that was crap. I'm not going to subscribe to you anymore. Goodbye. Oh. The Lenovo P15 ThinkPad, whatever order you want to put it in, is an $8,000 Australian $8,000 laptop. It's just under, it's like $7,700. If you're in the US or other countries, it will vary again, but it's just under $8,000. If you get yourself a monitor to make this a proper workstation, it's going to be the $8,000 mark. And I will have those links in the description below to check out the P15 with the i9 processor. And I'd love your thoughts in the comments below. Is this overkill? Do you think this is a good laptop? Is $8,000 too much money? I love all your thoughts below. It means a lot. And we can start a conversation about what other alternatives are out there. I've been testing the P15 now for over a week. I've really put it through its paces. It's not the most sexy laptop in the world. Some people love this design. It's very blocky, very kind of old school. It's also quite the fingerprint magnet, which you can hopefully see there. It just picks up the fingerprints. But it's a thick boy, as you can see. It's got so many ports, you know, full HDMI. It's got an Ethernet port. It's got multiple USB-C ports. It's just got everything you'd need. And that's something that I loved about it. A lot of other laptop companies just remove the ports. You know, it's like, they don't need that. Why would they need a disk drive? Why would they need an Ethernet port? Why would they need a HDMI? You can just have a USB and have an adapter for it. That works. I'm talking about Apple here, of course. But other companies are following suit as well. And they're just removing ports left, right, and center. But with the Lenovo ThinkPad P15, they're just adding ports, you know? It's like, okay, we've got the whole side and we've got the whole back. Let's just add as many ports as we possibly can. And it's really refreshing to see. I love that. It means that it's got versatility and you've got options. That's really, really handy. And as you look over the laptop, you can see it's just got so many fans, you know? It's clearly designed to obviously disperse the heat as well as possible. It's got fans everywhere. It's got a really decent speaker system as well, which was something that I was quite impressed with. Um, and I really did love the keyboard. Like there's quite a press to them. You know, there's a depth to the keys. And that's something I love because I use a mechanical keyboard and that depth just makes such a difference when you're using it. So that's one of the big positives. The overall just user experience of the keyboard and the mouse pad was great. I also found it really cool. Like it worked quite well that you have the mouse pad and then you have two physical buttons for the mouse click. That was really nice. They actually worked really well and the way that your fingers would kind of sit worked nicely. You know, you'd use one hand for the trackpad and then, you know, either your other finger for the click or your other hand for the click. And that actually felt quite natural. I enjoyed that. So how well does an $8,000 laptop perform when it comes to editing videos? Now that's the thing that I was a little bit disappointed with. It didn't do an amazing job. It's crazy, this is an $8,000 laptop. Imagine a desktop computer with $8,000 worth of hardware in it. It would be insane. Like I couldn't even comprehend what you'd put in there. It'd be amazing. But for whatever reason, I used DaVinci Resolve. I only used about three 4K clips and I put some basic transitions in there and it was very sluggish. So if you had a massive project, I don't know whether it would be geared towards a video editing laptop. And it's $8,000. It should be able to do everything. It should be able to make me my coffee. It should be able to walk me down the road like I'm a dog. Like, it should be able to do so many things. So I think when it came to the video editing side of things, that actually let me down a little bit. I was expecting a lot more out of an $8,000 laptop. But when it came to video games, that is where I think it really stood out. So I tested it with Game Beasts, Rocket League, and Grand Theft Auto V. And it did a great job. I was really impressed. They're three hefty games that require a lot of computing power. 
and it did phenomenally. You know, I played GTA 5, most settings were on ultra, if not high, and I believe I could pump it all up to ultra, and it was great. No issues at all. The fan kicked in like I was about to take off on a flight. You know, it definitely kicks in, but it did a great job. It performed phenomenally. The game ran extremely smoothly, and I had no issues when it came to playing games. When we talk about the performance of the P15, I think it was great, you know, like, it did a really good job, as you'd expect it to. It's $8,000. Again, like, you've got to keep the price in mind because it's not cheap. And I could pay $2,000 for a laptop, and it would probably do a great job, and I'd be happy with it. So, to go from $2,000 to $8,000, like, you need a justification in there. There needs to be a significant bump where you're like, yes, I'm willing to spend an extra $6,000 on this thing. And I just don't think it's there. I think it's a really powerful laptop. I think it's got so many options and they've really thought about, you know, so many areas of it. It's a great laptop to use. It's powerful. And, you know, if you have the money for it and you really love it, you love the design, you love the options of ports, you love the keyboard, then yeah, sure, go for it. But it's just so hard to recommend such an expensive laptop. I think performance wise, it's great. Like I mentioned, it did really good when it comes to video games. So it could be a really good gaming laptop. But when it came to, you know, the video editing side of things, it didn't really stack up too well. It did an all right job and, you know, I could edit things and I could still put transitions in and it wouldn't crash the system, but it wasn't smooth. You know, like I would expect it to be flawlessly editing three clips. That's all I had in there at some point. Just three 4K clips, few basic transitions. It shouldn't be having an issue with that. So I think that was a little bit of a letdown. Um, another test I did was I had like the video editing program open, DaVinci, and then I had, um, I think GTA 5 or another game open, and it seemed to be fine, you know? The GPU and CPU were doing a really good job. It wasn't like completely maxing out to the point that it was exploding. That fan kicked in again, like you're taking off. You know, it's like, nah, I don't care about COVID. Let's just go, you know, let's get on a plane and fly. But besides that, you know, I think Again, it's hard to like recommend such an expensive laptop. I think it's great. You know, if this was a $2,000 laptop, for example, I'd be like, okay, yeah, this thing is amazing. This is great. You know, maybe even a $3,000 laptop, you'd be like, okay, yeah, this is really cool. But when it's 7,700 Australian dollars, it's kind of hard to recommend something like this. So I think there are better options out there. I'd love to know in the comments below if you've got any thoughts on that. But overall, it was really fun to test this. I think it's a powerful laptop. It's a well thought out laptop with so many options available, but it's just such a hard thing to recommend to you guys just because of that price tag. It's just too high. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate all the support. I will chat to you in the next video and peace out.